Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this upload I will be talking about the time interval technique taught by Neville Goddard in his book Your Faith is Your Fortune. This technique also appears in other writing and public presentations and refers to our ability to timestamp the date of delivery of our fully realised desires. Your Faith is Your Fortune is a personal favourite of mine and I cannot recommend it highly enough. I will read the chapter then say a little about how I used this exact technique to attend to a time sensitive matter. The time interval manipulation is an invaluable skill to master and the information that follows will be of particular encouragement to those fatigued by the waiting process, by which I mean the time it takes for your desires to ripen and flower. I also want to mention that whenever you come across a reference to the divinely appointed time for a manifestation's actualization, that is, this divinely appointed time refers to the time it takes for you to assume the consciousness of the expression of your life with the fully operational, matured manifestation as a part of it. Being foundational velocity or God at the substantive level, you determine the time at which invisible conceptions take on physical form. This time interval is relative to your concept of self and so a change in self-concept will speed up or slow things down. Interval of Time by Neville Goddard Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Taken from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. The me in whom ye must believe is your consciousness, the I am, it is God. It is also the Father's house containing within itself all conceivable states of consciousness. Every conditioned state of consciousness is called a mansion. This conversation takes place within yourself. Your I am, the unconditioned consciousness, is the Christ Jesus speaking to the conditioned self or the human aspect consciousness. I am myself, from a mystical point of view, is two beings, namely Christ and your physical human aspect. So I go to prepare a place for you, moving from your present state of consciousness into that state desired. It is a promise by your Christ or awareness of being to your present conception of yourself that you will leave your present consciousness and appropriate another. Human beings are such slaves to time that if after they have appropriated a state of consciousness which is not now seen by the world and it, the appropriated state, does not immediately embody itself, they lose faith in the unseen claim. Forthwith, they drop it and return to their former static states of being. Because of this limitation of humanity, I have found it very helpful to employ a specified interval of time in making this journey into a prepared mansion. Wait but a little while, Job 36.2. We have all catalogued the different days of the week, months of the year and seasons. By this I mean you and I have said time and again why today feels just like Sunday or Monday or Saturday. We have also said in the middle of summer why this feels and looks like the fall of the year. This is positive proof that you and I have definite feelings associated with these different days, months and seasons of the year. Because of this association, we can at any time consciously dwell in that day or season which we have selected. Do not selfishly define this interval in days and hours because you are anxious to receive it, but simply remain in the conviction that it is done. Time being purely relative should be eliminated entirely and your desire will be fulfilled. 
This ability to dwell at any point in time permits us to employ time in our travel into the desired mansion. Now I, consciousness, go to a point in time and there prepare a place. If I go to such a point in time and prepare a place, I shall return to this point in time where I have left and I shall pick up and take you with me into that place which I have prepared, that where I am, there ye may also be. Let me give you an example of this travel. Suppose you had an intense desire, like most men who are, or most people who are enslaved by time, you might feel that you could not possibly realise so large a desire in a limited interval. But admitting that all things are possible to God, believing God to be the me within you or your consciousness of being, you can say, as myself, I can do nothing. But since all things are possible to God and God, I know to be my consciousness of being, I can realize my desire in a little while. How my desire will be realized, I do not as myself know, but by the very law of my being, I do know that it shall be. With this belief, firmly established, decide what would be a relative rational interval of time in which such a desire could be realised. Again, let me remind you not to shorten the interval of time because you are anxious to receive your desire. Make it a natural interval. No one can give you the time interval. Only you can say what the natural interval would be to you. The interval of time is relative. That is, no two individuals would give the same measurement of time for the realisation of their desire. Time is ever conditioned by humanity's conception of itself. Confidence in yourself as determined by conditioned consciousness always shortens the interval of time. If you were accustomed to great accomplishments, you would give yourself a much shorter interval in which to accomplish your desire than the man or human being schooled in defeat. If today were Wednesday and you decided that it would be quite possible for your desire to embody a new realization of yourself by Sunday, then Sunday becomes the point in time that you would visit. To make this visit, you shut out Wednesday and let in Sunday. This is accomplished by simply feeling that it is Sunday. Begin to hear the church bells, begin to feel the quietness of the day and all that Sunday means to you, actually feel that it is Sunday. When this is accomplished, feel the joy of having received that which on Wednesday was but a desire. Feel the complete thrill of having received it and then return to Wednesday, the point in time you left behind you. In doing this, you created a vacuum in consciousness by moving from Wednesday to Sunday. Nature, abhorring vacuums, rushes in to fill it, thereby fashioning a mould in the likeness of that which you potentially create, namely the joy of having realised your defined desire. As you return to Wednesday, you will be filled with a joyful expectancy because you have established the consciousness of that which must take place the following Sunday. As you walk through the interval of Thursday, Friday and Saturday, nothing disturbs you regardless of conditions because you predetermined that which you would be on the Sabbath and that remains an unalterable conviction. So that was taken from Interval of Time by Neville Goddard from his book, Your Faith is Your Fortune. In my own experience, when I needed to return to the UK from Nigeria as a matter of urgency, I began the process by imagining the day on which I would receive the news I wanted. I did this by going back in memory to what I had done on the same day a week prior and honed in on what was specific about my attitude to this particular day relative to other days of the week. I also focused on the time knowing what I would typically be doing at that time of day. And then I flooded the scene with as much detail as I possibly could. So when it comes to feeling yourself into a particular day, you can use anything that feels like routine to help you really cement that this is the actual day in your mind. Or you can replay the same day a week prior to get the ball rolling. 
and then notice all of your references to that particular day or time um, as you do that. So I hope that helps. In my own experience, what I did, I, I followed Neville's technique. I've been doing it for many years. But what I did was that I used my memory of the exact same day a week prior to help me really become familiarized or acclimatized to the fact that where I was psychologically was the specific day and time at which I was going to receive the news I was looking for. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, that it has been helpful and encouraging to you. Please feel free to comment or ask questions below. Thank you for watching. This has been an original Kate Chigeti presentation of Metaphysical Moments. If you enjoy my content, let me know with a like, if you like, and I look forward to being with you in the next upload. Mm -hmm.